Hello, this is a demo on how to get started using Cargo. So Cargo Collective is a site building platform where you can create your template, uh, your, uh, your portfolio using a bunch of pre-built templates or you can start completely from scratch. So uh, what I'm gonna do is show you how to build from scratch. To build is completely free, but to make your site live um, requires um, buying, purchasing um, a, a service, either monthly or yearly. Right now the yearly price is 99 and I think it's about 13 a month. Um, they do have options for nonprofits, for schools, and also for COVID-19 related websites. So there are some options out there and you can get a hold of them um, either by clicking on, if you're a student, you can click on students. Um, you may even want to just talk to uh, the person who's the head of the department where you are at school, um, they do have a lot of free um, free things set up. I, I teach at Portland State University and they have an option for um, the design students. Okay, so let's get going. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to say get started for free. So I'm going to click, click on this and then you can kind of take a look at all of the different templates they have available. Uh, I am going to skip straight down all the way to the bottom. So the very last template is called Untitled Blank Template. So I'm going to click on that and then it's going to give me a preview of this lovely completely empty template and I'm going to say start with this template. Okay, so this is where they want you to set up your new site. So I'm going to call this, um, uh, I'll call it Receive Folio. And then the name for my site will be the same thing. And then I'm going to create my site. If you wanted to just go ahead and purchase, um, you do that through settings. So if you click on settings, you can scroll down, um, click on your subscriptions, and then you can upgrade. Um, so here are the options. You can do yearly or monthly, credit card, PayPal, and this is where you would put a code in if you have a code from your school. Um, okay, I'm not going to do that right now. Close that out. I also wanted to talk about um, that you can actually um, add a custom domain and you can buy it straight through Cargo or you can set it up. Um, so uh, I will leave that for a, a future project. Okay, close. All right, so there's two tabs. There's the content tab and there's the design tab. The design tab is really the sort of overall design of your site. So it's where you set your font sizes, um, font faces. They have a license with a lot of different um, font faces. So um, yeah, you can kind of click through what they've got. Let's just pick a few while we're here. Let's see, I'll just do Oswald for my header. Um, the save button comes up a lot, which is nice, and it doesn't let you change pages unless you've saved. Um, it asks you if you want to save. So, okay, H1 I'm going to do Oswaldo. I'll just keep the font size the same. H2 maybe I'll do, let's look at other Oswald. I'll do Oswaldo regular for H2. And then for my body... I'm going to choose, um, I don't know, open, do they have open sans? Um, I'll do new neato regular. Okay. All right. So I've got my, my base font set up. Um, the rest, let's see, site menu, you can choose. Um, so if you turn this on, this little button over here, you can click it and then um, it'll allow you to choose the icons that you want to use. These all kind of default to this mobile setting. Um, there is a way to use your own page for nav. Um, I'm going to leave that for another future demo, but you have the option of doing these various icons and you can position where you want them to be. So you can do the bottom right, um, bottom left. I'm just going to stick with top right. That's sort of where the eye is looking for a menu anyway. Um, or top left, um, and then I'm just gonna say, okay, cool. This will automatically populate with um, the names of your pages. So that's kind of all you have to do um, um, for here, and you can customize um, that a little more 
on this uh, configure menu. Okay, so that's probably all I want to go through for mobile stuff. I'm going to try to be as brief as possible. So for content, we have this untitled page, which is set to our home page right now. So I'm going to change the title of it to home. And um, I'm going to actually leave this because I first want to add a header and um, footer. So let's create a new page. I'm going to save this on the bottom, let's see, back to content, sorry. On the bottom of the main content tab, there's a little plus. And if you click that, you can add a new page. Um, I am going to call this one header. Header. And I'm going to type some text. Uh, what am I calling this? Alana Race Portfolio. I'm going to select the text and I'm going to make it an H1. I could also choose to, um, like if I had an image, maybe I'll just randomly pick an image here. Oh, sorry, my library is empty. If I want to pick a new image, I can say upload new. Um, I'll just upload one of these since they're handy. Um, I could drag that up here. Maybe change the scale. Let's see. Um, image options are right here. So I can click on this. I'll rotate it to be 90. I'll scale it down. Um, icon mode. Enable icon mode. Okay, I've enabled icon mode. Um, I can make it draggable by the user. So it could be like a floating logo. Um, yeah, so I could, um, I could have this be, whoa, my, my header. I'm totally making a mess. Sorry. Okay. And then you can also, there's some alignment. So this is, I could align it to the right. So I want this to be, Okay, we'll just leave it like that. Eh, whatever. Um, I'm gonna get rid of it for the uh, sake of um, brevity and change, um, go back to content now that this is saved. And so this is just gonna be my header for the, for the demo. Um, if I click on this arrow and I choose to pin this, it's gonna actually put this at the top of every page. And um, that you have a few options here. So right now it's overlaying all my content. If I had like a transparent header or something, um, that would be great. I do not, so I wanna deselect that. So now my content is gonna flow underneath it. I can also fix it to the top so that if this page was scrollable, it would stay fixed um, and everything would scroll underneath it. Um, I'm just gonna leave it as like this. And you can also choose to not show it on mobile, um, which is nice, or not show it on desktop. Um, so I'm going to hit save, and then I'm also going to add a footer. So I'm going to say in my content main tab, I'm going to add another one, new page. I'm going to call this one footer. I'm going to just have some um, and copy. Oh, funny, I just did that out of habit. Um, copyright 2020. Oops, 2020. Okay, and then I don't know the symbol, so I can actually go to the code view because I know what the, it's um, ampersand copy semicolon. If I go into the, um, the code view and add that, then I'll get my copyright symbol. Um, let's add some background color to this. So I'm going to do background color of, I don't know, something gray, sure. And um, I'm going to center my content. And that's kind of all I need to do. I could actually, I'm going to make this, this, there's a small text option. So I'm going to make that the small text. Um, and that's about it. Maybe less padding. 
Okay, so it looks terrible now, but just um, hold your horses. I probably should have changed the font color. If I go back to content page after I've saved that and I do the same thing, I say pin my footer, I can align it to the bottom of my page. Um, I want it to be fixed to the bottom. And now I have um, a footer. So this fixed um, fixed will mean that if I'm that it'll always be fixed to the bottom, whether or not I have scrollable content or not. Um, we'll just leave that like that for now. And then um, let's add a gallery to my home page. So on my home page, I'm going to upload some images. So right now, let's see, I have Mary's. I'm going to upload. Um, Brandy's. I'm going to pause and actually go grab a few more images. So be right back. Okay, so I grabbed a few images. I'm just going to put, um, I don't know, we'll just call it art gallery. Uh, there's my header. I'm going to make it an H2 actually because my logo right now is an H1. I don't want them to be the same. So I'm just going to grab and drag a bunch of images in. So Every kind of everything about cargo is putting the content in and then um, laying it out. So I'm just gonna drag, keep dragging. Hopefully all these are getting in there. You can drag them on top of each other. It doesn't really matter. They'll just sort of stack anyway. All right, so that's fine. I have a bunch. I probably am missing some, but no, that looks like all of it. Okay, so to create a gallery, what I wanna do is select all of these. So I'm gonna click this and this, 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 this. Um, you just shift click on all of it. You can probably shift click to the bottom too. Yep, that works. Okay, so there are my images. And now I just have to click on this gallery icon down here and it will default to um, to this gallery. I can choose which kind I want. So if I want to have them all, they, they basically will try to take up a square. So the grid is the square, but the images are still their own aspect ratio. Oops, and if, it, um, if this happens, you can just reselect your gallery. You cancel, um, and then try another one. So this one's sort of a random assortment. And right now I have um, a pretty small screen, so it's, it's hard to see what that would look like. But um, And this one's sort of nice. It um, makes the images overlap. I There's also a slideshow that's built in, which is really nice. The delay can be changed. The transition can be changed. Um, and so let's see, I'll just make it be 3.6. Um, you can slide, fade, or scrub. What is scrub? Probably some weird effect. Okay, well, we'll stick with fade. And then I'm going to hit save. You can turn off navigation, turn off autoplay. Okay, save. So um, there's gallery. Pretty simple. So let's go back to content. We'll go to, uh, we'll make a new page. We're going to make just an about page. New page. Okay, I'm gonna change the name to about. I will add um, about Lana, and I'm gonna change this to an H2. And then underneath here, I'm gonna have. I want to have two different columns. So maybe on this page, I'll have um, a bunch of warm ipsum text. Um, ipsum, just for now. I'll just generate some to help us out. This site, lipsum.com, is great if you don't have a text editor that'll just generate text for you. So I'll just generate five paragraphs and so we can use them. Okay, back here. All right, so maybe this is my bio and then next to my, or yeah, my artist statement and then I'm gonna have some bio here and I wanna have an image. Um, because I don't have a picture of myself, I'll just, I'm a whale, there you go. Um, so I'm gonna have a picture and then I'm gonna have like, I'll just say like location, 
Portland. Um, what else about me? I don't even know. Dogs. Two. <laughs> Kid. Uh, one nine year old. Okay. Um, oh, right. Education, right? That's the thing that you put on there. <laughs> MFA, BFA. Okay. So I want the, all this stuff to be in a grid. So this I want to keep um, in the main section of the page, but this all the way down to this, I want to create a grid. So I'm going to click on grid. I'm going to say that I want a two column grid. You can change the column numbers here up to 12. I'm going to do a two. Where's two? I want the left to be wider than the right, so I can adjust that. And then um, I can sh I can make sure that on mobile it's a single column. So I want to keep that selected. And then if you can see here, I have um, a right column and a left column. So um, and it starts below my header. So now I just need to grab my image and my text here. I'm going to say um, cut. And I'll just get rid of that extra paragraph. And then I'm just going to go up here and paste. Um, and then let's say I want to have um, this in like a background color or something. So what I want to do is customize my CSS. So if I go into code view now, I can see that where my image starts here. So there's my image. It's pulling in um, this image for me. I want, I can add a class here. So I'm going to just add a class called right column, right dash call. And then I can go into CSS and kind of muck around. I also want to take a look at this grid responsive. Um, I want to add a class up here as well. So here's the left column. Here's the right column. So this is the main grid. I'm going to say um, a class of, I'll just call it 6040. 40 grid. Okay, so now I have these two classes. Um, because I want this to be 100% um, um, height. So I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to go to, where am I going? To, oh, I'm going to the CSS. So I'm going to go back to design. Yes, save changes. So I called it right call. I'm going to go to, this is the CSS editor. It's the, all the CSS for the site. So I can go in here and um, change it. And what I want to do is I want to append the CSS file on the bottom. So right call was the first one. Um, it automatically adds that second angle bracket. Be careful of that because I've done that a couple times. And then I called it, um, did I paste it? No. S dot 60 dash 40 grid. See, it automatically does that. Okay, so on my right column, I'm going to give it a background color of um, dark gray. And then I'm going to change the color to white so we can see it better. Okay. Um, on 60, 40 grid. Oh, I also want the height to be inherit. And on this one, I want my height to be hundred of the percent of the viewport height and then that that will inherit that height so sort of works sort of works I need a margin on that right that left side um so yeah I would probably add a margin to the left side to to uh, account for this footer um anyway I'm not gonna get into details today okay so there's our about page. Um, yeah, what else should I cover? I think that's kind of the, the gist of it is that this CSS is here that you can add to it from anywhere. On content, you can add pages. Um, you can rearrange pages too, which is kind of nice. Um, so when I click here, I should automatically, oh, so this button, I think will add it. 
Um, hmm, I wonder if I have to go to the um, the site nav to add it. So the site menu is here. Um, show the menu, configure the menu. So I want to have home and about. Okay, so this is where you can add the pages that you want. Um, maybe I don't even want home page. I can just take it out. Um, the home page is the page that you set here. Um, so this right now, home is set to the home page, but I could set any page to be the home page. I could go in here um, and set this to be home, and that changes that to the home page. But um, I want this one to be home. Okay, home, about, and now let's see if it messed up. Okay, cool. So there you go, there's that about home. Um, sticking things with pinning. Oh, um, they they automatically add this running on cargo um, pin. You can unpin that actually, but it is nice to just say, hey, I'm a cargo site. Um, so yeah, that should stay the same when I'm fixed. Okay, I hope this was helpful enough to get going. Um, as you can see, you can view mobile and desktop on here as well. Um, and then when you're ready to publish, your URL is going to be this, this URL, Recifolio, or mine is .cargo.site. It has to be unique, of course, and um, you have to um, have a subscription in order for it to be live. I think if I go here right now, yeah, site is private, upgrade to go public. Um, all right, thank you.